Hello everyone, welcome back to this video of Tech Moments, Technology Moments. And in this opportunity, we're going to talk again about this powerful switch, the US 24-250W. And we're going to focus on the topic of link aggregation. How we can, uh, by aggregating two, three or more ports of our switch to work as one. That means that it is going to be a huge advantage in terms of performance uh, when we want to connect two or more of our departments in our companies uh, with a more powerful and more bandwidth channel. Let's remember, as we saw in the previous video, this, uh, this switch comes also in uh, the 500 watt version, which is a lot more powerful. That doesn't mean that each one of the ports is not going to be capable of delivering the power that it is supposed to be delivering because of the standard. Usually I recommend that you use your own patch cords that you build them, or if you want, you can buy them uh, manufactured, but I would recommend to you to use uh, recognized brands. Okay, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to use the network controller of the UDM Pro. We're going to use the US24, as, and we're going to use one of these two SFP uh, fiber optic modules port. Specifically for this video, we're going to use these modules that are from GTEC. that are uh, they're very powerful modules and they tend to have a very good compatibility with most brands in the market. Okay, so right here, what you do is just take it out of the, of the package. You're going to remove the protector of the ports uh, in the switch and just slide in the module. Remember that in these uh, switches, the interface in the network controller is going to show us the status immediately after you plug in your module. It is going to show you uh, as a very small warning sign, uh, which is going to tell you that the module has been successfully installed and that it is ready to be used. That doesn't happen in the UDM. If you are doing this with, with the UDM Pro, be careful. It doesn't show like if the module is not working. But it is working, uh, you just have to switch it uh, to, from the auto to the manual mode in case uh, the link is not being recognized. Right here, we did the same with the US-8. The US-8 is a switch that it is also very powerful. That doesn't mean that doesn't have the capabilities of managing right here uh, the link aggregation. Uh, one tip for you guys is that if you're trying to use link aggregation in the UDM Pro, that is not possible. That is the reason why the UDM Pro has a 10 gigabit Ethernet, um, a 10 gigabit optional SFP plus module port. Right here now, we're going to adopt the, UD, the US-8 US switch, which is the first that we're going to configure for the aggregation. That means that in this case, we're going to put, use ports 8 and 9. We're going to use them for the aggregation link. So let's go right here. Let's click on the switch right here on the right side panel. We're going to see that the US switch is active. And right here, as I told you, you're going to see that the SFP port has been successfully recognized. But of course, it doesn't have any link active yet. We're going to proceed then uh, by selecting the first port of our of our aggregation link um, setup. Right here, let's go to port number seven, which is going to be our first port that is going to be used. We're going to click here in the edit button and we're going to go to profile overrides in the configuration of the ports in the ports profiles. Right here, we select port aggregation and we're going to go right here to the aggregation ports. The aggregation ports, as uh, right here, we found out something very interesting it let us choose between the fiber ports and the copper co uh, the copper ports. So we said, why not? Let's include the fiber port into our link aggregation setup. Right here, we're going to go up to port number nine. Two copper ports, one fiber optic uh, port. The same thing we're going to have to do in the US-24. Let's go to the US-24. And we do exactly the same procedure. We're going to go to port number number 23. Click. Let's go to the edit button. We go right here to the aggregation, which comes up automatically as we just uh, used it in the other in the other switch. We select the ports, including this one, that is the one that is uh, the SFP port, and let's 
go to connecting our cables. Once we connect our cables successfully, uh, as you can see right here, we can connect only two and the link will establish and we use, uh, we'll use twice as the bandwidth as you used to have. Something very important is that you do not have to use all the ports that you configured in your aggregation setup. You can use only two and use one as the backup of the other one. One of them can go through one side of the building and the other one through the other side of the building. Ideally, they have to be from the same length. Of course, you will not add more problems to your, to your uh, link aggregation setup. Right here, we can see that it is connecting to the port, to the other switch and that it is using only two of the ports that I configured for this setup. So let's go and use our cable, our fiber optics cable, and we're going to wire from one switch to the other one. In this opportunity, as we can see, they are just one by the other one, but this can happen between buildings that are uh, several hundred meters apart. We can see then that our links are up right here and we can fix all the other connections to make sure that all of them are up and running and they are successfully connected at one gigabit it is very important it is very important of course to check previously your cabling uh, and that they are certified right here we can see that our three links are up and running and we're gonna go then to our test our test based on that we took this link aggregation setup and converted into our backbone of our network this means that all the information that I'm going to be passing through our uh, testing scenario is going to go is going to go through this aggregation link. Okay, so our setup so for configuring or for testing this environment is consisting of seven computers running solid state drives, gigabit Ethernet connections, server, and uh, network attached storage. All the information passing through our uh, link aggregation system. We're going to monitor all the information right here in this virtual machine and we're going to be testing in real life environment. That means that it is going to be tested uh, not by programs that are going to be monitoring each one of the ports. It is going to be tested by using this. Specifically, we are right here passing information from one computer to another one to the network attached storage to our server and we're going to see how this behaves in our setup. Mm, we came to a very interesting conclusion. Right here we can see that in some opportunities our devices were able to connect at top speed. Mm, we were able to stress sufficiently enough each one of the channels so it is going to be utilizing each one of the others. Mm, what we saw right here was mm, some drops of performance in some of the links mm, every once in a while when we were transmitting information huge amounts of information from one computer to another one we saw that the, that the speed was affected dramatically randomly it didn't have any prediction uh, or it didn't start another one they were not based on small files they were based on large files transmitting uh, we know that sending large files we can make some setups for the unify switches but we're not gonna go into into that right now we're just testing real life environments supposing for example that we have a media company that is sending huge amounts of information from one side to the other one as you can see some of some of the times performance was very very good and right here as you can see this one with one port right here with the three ports in link aggregation we can see that one of the ports becomes saturated and the other one is going to be started to be used basically that may be one of the reasons why it would be a lot better for you to use the 10 gigabit um, cascading method okay using the sfp ports right here uh, as link aggregation both in fiber optic mode or the 10 gigabit ethernet connection that the other one has okay guys so the conclusion is yours leave the comments in your in, in the video right here so we can build and share our experiences right here in uh, some of our other videos we're going to see how you can use these fiber optic modules from unify or the 10 g tech brand also okay so don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time